I'm going to create amorphous sulfur in the laboratory. Now with this, I'm going to be using some powdered sulfur. Now sulfur as a molecule appears to look like this. It almost looks like a crown, okay? So sulfur is written S8. So there's eight sulfur atoms all bunched up together, all bunched up together like this. Now, amorphous sulfur, how am I going to create it? So the preparation is quite simple. I'm going to take a spoon, put some sulfur in the spoon, and heat the sulfur up. Now I'm going to apply the flame beneath the sulfur so the sulfur does not catch on fire. And once I have molten sulfur present, I'm going to immediately pour it into some cold water in this beaker here. Now sulfur is interesting, okay? Sulfur does change colors when heated. Now sulfur normally starts off as a yellow powder. Once you heat it, you increase the temperature, it's going to go from yellow to a reddish brown type color. And if you continue to heat the sulfur, then it turns completely black. Now, sulfur crystallizes in two distinct forms. Substances that crystallize in two distinct forms are called dimorphous. Sulfur can also be obtained in the amorphous or uncrystallized condition. Molten sulfur, suddenly cooled by pouring into cold water, will be found to be soft and dough-like. After several days, the, the elastic sulfur hardens and will contain sulfur crystals. Now, let's head to the laboratory and let me demonstrate how to create amorphous sulfur. Okay, so to create amorphous sulfur, I'm first going to heat the sulfur up here in this test tube. Now what we have here is molten sulfur. Now sulfur right now is being mixed with the oxygen in the air creating sulfur dioxide. I'm going to pour the molten sulfur directly into the cold water. Now what you see here is amorphous sulfur. Now if you look very closely, this is a Prince Rupert amorphous sulfur droplet. Now what I'm going to show is the interesting characteristics of this amorphous sulfur. As you can tell, it's very dough-like and it's actually quite elastic. I have demonstrated how to create amorphous sulfur in the laboratory. 
And as always, thanks for watching.